Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my Bath and Body Works empties for the last like about month or so, but I'm also going to include a little bit of skincare in the one mascara that I've used up. I do have a big collection of things that I'm just getting rid of that I didn't necessarily actually use up, but I have probably gone bad because they've just been in my collection for so long now and they've been sitting in my closet and I just really want to get them out of my closet. So that's what this is. This is they're going in the trash up this. Yes, there is a collection of things that I'm just going to get rid of. But I think we're going to go through the Bath and Body Works stuff first and then the rest of the stuff at the end. I don't have very high remarks to say about all of these candles that I'm going to be talking about. It just, I guess, is what it is for this round of my candle empties. I guess maybe I should call this like a post burn review on candles, but it's also other empties, so these are my empties. <laughs> So over the last little while, I went through three fall flowers. I actually went through two in white t-shirt and one in linen and lavender. If anybody cares, the notes on white t-shirt are crisp pear, lavender cloud, and soft sandalwood. It does say fresh and relaxed. It's like the little code thing on the front for what category it goes into. Same for linen and lavender. And the notes on lin linen and lavender, I don't know why I'm struggling saying that right now. Crisp linen, lavender sea salt, and fresh air breeze. Went through these in my bathroom. <laughs> bathroom and mudroom. The linen and lavender is one that I'll totally repurchase going forward. I think I still have one or two in my collection that I don't need to repurchase more of, but I will going forward of this one. White t-shirt, however, less than impressed. I have it in the fine fragrance mist and I do really enjoy that. I don't know that I would like it in any other of the body cares. I smelled them in store. Didn't really care for them. That's why I ended up with just the fine fragrance mist in that. But I went with the wallflowers also. I actually have a lot of them because I thought it smelled delicious. I'm not so impressed with its performance in my bathroom. I don't know See, and that's the thing, it's in one of the scent control plugs right now, and it's on the highest one, and it's still not performing that great. So, in a larger space, it's not going to perform better. So, white t-shirt is a no for me on repurchase-wise. I do have a few left in my collection, so you will see empties of those going forward, but they're not going to be repurchased for me. <laughs> okay, candles. I went through three, three wicks in the past, like, month or so. First one is this blueberry lavender spritzer. The notes say juicy blueberries, lavender petals, lemon juice, and splash of club soda. In this specific packaging, this is from last spring, I had I think three of these that I've already burned. I do have one unburned in my collection that I am unsure if I'm going to keep or not. I didn't even finish this one. I, I didn't finish it. It's a about here, just below the blue line. It probably has like three burns left. It just, having burned so many of these, I feel like it like burned me out on it. I don't understand if it's just like the packaging and the scent itself, like the combination of the two. I don't know if that's what's doing it for me or what, but this candle is just not doing it for me right now. So it's like, well, instead of, just like pushing myself and burning through it and not liking it I'm I'm just gonna call it so this is not fully used up but we're trashing it it's gonna be emptied <laughs> or considered an empty I totally misspoke I said this was from 2021 in spring it's actually from 2020 spring because I have this sweet mint julep in the same packaging <laughs> also from 2020 spring the notes on sweet mint julep are crushed rosemary, rosemary mint, splash of bourbon, and sweet vanilla simple syrup. This one, I love. I love this one. This was subtle in a way, but um, this was right up my alley. I wish I would have gotten more of this, but again, I just was talking about how I got a bunch of the blueberry lavender spritzer in the same packaging, like same line, and I'm not happy that I did that, so maybe I'm glad that I only got one of this one. <laughs> But I loved it. 
definitely definitely loved it i don't know that i'm gonna buy it again i mean like like if i saw it in an sas going forward i'd probably pick up one for a springtime burn again but i i enjoyed this one <laughs> another candle that i just wasn't feeling and i kind of called it before it was fully used up is this sugar and pomegranate the notes are pink grapefruit, sparkling bergamot, and watermelon ice. And this is the one with the super pretty lid. Like the super pretty lid. Super duper pretty. Um, do you see that? <laughs> I couldn't even get myself to keep burning it. I, <laughs> no, it just wasn't going to happen, so I liked the smell of this one, won't buy it again. I did get this one from Candle Day, so I didn't pay like the outrageous price on it, but I like the lid, it's cute, does it add anything to the packaging? I mean, a, a little bit, but does it actually add to like the performance of the candle? No, and when <laughs> the candle performs like this? Not worth it. Again, I didn't over burn this or like let it burn for too long or maybe not trim the wicks or anything like that. I I maintained it the way I usually do and this is what happened. So yeah, it's about here. About here. So I had maybe like, yeah, right right before the label ends at the bottom. I probably had like maybe two burns left out of it. I didn't want to continue. I like the scent of it, but really disappointed with the performance of it. And now we're gonna go through everything else. So I have a bunch of random face sheet masks. They're from different places. I got them from like Boxy Charms and other things that I did. I've had these for so long now, and I tried to get through them for a while. And I got through some, and then we moved, and I have, these are what I had left, and I, I'm just getting rid of these. I'm, I'm done with it. I don't entertain them for anything. They don't do anything for me, so I don't entertain them. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so however you pronounce it, this Ole Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Balance things. I got these from an influencer. I got the moisturizer, and I have the toner. I have the face wash too. I think I used it up way of a long time ago. I got these in like 2017. Definitely 2017. You can see I have about half left of the moisturizer and the tiniest little, 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 little bit of the toner. I'm just getting rid of it. I didn't want to get rid of it because I was like, oh my gosh, these are the first things I would send for free from Influencer. However, they have sent me so many more things since I've been a part of the program, so as much as I like love them, I don't need to keep skincare that's definitely gone bad by now, so <laughs> trashing these. This Physician's Formula 24 Karat Gold Serum, it was okay. It was when I like first really got into like skincare, so I didn't really know what I was doing, so I like got this and then I got higher end skincare and I like, of course I liked that better. So this just kind of like sat in the back burner and I actually entirely forgot about it until I found it in the bottom of my basket in my hall closet and I was like, mm, we're tossing this. The Olay moisturizer I also got from Influencer, getting rid of it. This Shiseido set was actually like the first high-end face care that I bought from Sephora back in 2017. Also, getting rid of it. I actually have the face wash matched to that that I never even used. Does face wash go bad? And then this Physician's Formula Refreshment Eye Depuffer. I loved this when I first picked this up. <laughs> you could have had me convince anyone that this was like the best product in the world because I loved it so much. I just loved it so much, but I don't have time for something like this anymore. Again, it's like really, really super old too. I don't know if you can see how worn the packaging on it is, but it's like super duper old getting rid of it. So my eye cream saga. Okay, so this Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado. <laughs> it's all like runny now, way gone bad. But the problem is, is this 
really, really irritated my skin. I was pregnant with my first son when it happened, but when I was using it, it like dried out and irritated all of my under eye and it made me go on this whole entire thing searching for other eye creams. This isn't one of the first eye creams that I used, but it did really terrible things for me, so I would totally not recommend this and it kind of ruined a portion of my life and made me spend a bunch of money on other eye creams. <laughs> And I feel like this was a waste of money in and of itself. And because I realized apparently how sensitive my eye skin is, this um, Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream, I actually had from before I had the Kiehl's one, but because I was really heavy into like consumerism spending things and buying the new stuff when that's how I ended up with the Kiehl's one, but <laughs> I really really liked this one when it first came out and when I had it, it smells really terrible right now, but when I got it, it smells really good. I don't want to necessarily use skincare that has scents like this, like Glow Recipe stuff I'm staying away from, especially after, you know, my experience with this Kiehl's eye cream. I'm going to be a little bit more picky about the skincare that I'm using. so. Although I liked this one and I didn't have issues with it when I first tried it, I wouldn't buy something like this going forward. And like I said, I definitely am more picky about what kind of skincare I get now. I don't get something with like a lot of heavy scent in it. <laughs> I really like Glow Recipe and I've never had any problems with their products, but they do have super heavy scented stuff. <laughs> So my issues with my eye cream made me want to just get rid of this other eye cream that I actually had as like a gratis free thing that I got from when I worked at Ulta in like 2018. So this is like way bad. I never actually used this. This is the Elginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I contemplated actually keeping it because it's not used, but then I was like, mm, no. <laughs> And then all these other things are just random things that I acquired one way or another that I'm just going to get rid of. I may have used some. I may not have. They're definitely not empty, but I'm going to get rid of them. They're definitely bad by now. <laughs> the Sol de Janeiro Cocoa Cabana Cream that smells really terrible. I like the original one way better. But yes, everything else I could just do without, so we're just getting rid of it so it's not cluttering up my closet. And now, for the things that I've actually used, or liked, and used, or fully used up, <laughs> my like actual empties of skincare. So some things that I haven't actually used up, but I'm getting rid of for one reason or another, starting with this Elginus. This was also a gratis item from when I worked at Ulta. This is an Elevate Advanced Retinol Serum. It hasn't done anything for me like spectacular, and it, I just... I, I have so many serums in backup that I don't want to go bad, so I'm just going to toss it. <laughs> this Pharmacy Honey Drop Moisturizer, I liked this. I was using this, this was right in the time when I was using Kiehl's eye cream when I had that happen, and because I was pregnant my skin really really dried out, it, this moisturizer was super lightweight, and it was good for when my skin was oily, but when it was not oily. This didn't work for me. Now that I've had two babies and my skin's been through a lot, I tried this one out again just to see if I would like it and it's definitely gone bad. So. <sighs> and this Bath and Body Works White Jasmine Body Lotion in this travel size. I think this one, yes it is, from 2019. I was going to use it and it's like liquidy you can't really tell but it's liquidy and that means it's gone bad so I'm just tossing it I I don't overly love the scent anyways so I do have to say with pharmacy stuff they're always like in the cutest packaging and like this has a magnet in here and it came with a metal spatula to scoop this out with and like this is cute this is like nice packaging this is good for a moisturizer I enjoy this all right and now for the things that I actually like fully used up <laughs> I went through this Kors Nourishing Gel Moisturizer. I did get this one, I think, from like an Ipsy bag. That's such a long time ago, but I just wanted to finish it up. When I first got it, it had this 
horrible, horrendous, perfumey smell, but I was in this kick that I wanted to use it up because I got it. So I did, and I mean, there's probably like this, this much, this much left in the bottom of here, but it doesn't smell like it used to smell. And although I'm not mad that it doesn't smell like it used to smell, that means it's gone bad. <laughs> This is actually not the first one of these that I went through. This is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. This is definitely not the first one that I've gone through of this. I enjoy this. This helps. Um, I didn't repurchase this because I received the Peter Thomas Roth version of an acne treatment like this in from Influencer. So I didn't buy this one right now. I probably will once the Peter Thomas Roth is used up, but that's going to be in so long. That tube is so huge, especially compared to this one. So big. <laughs> so the last thing that I used up is this Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I enjoy the hell out of this. This is not at all the first one of this one I've used up either, but this one has definitely dried up and gone bad. I am going to be purchasing another one of these really really soon it's like actually in my Sephora card and that's on my list of things to do over the next week so because <laughs> after I went through my makeup collection this last time I really only have two mascaras left that are good and I like them for my lower lashes more than anything so we're at what we have so <laughs> but I'm not mad about the fact that I don't have any backups of that I really have tried to downsize my makeup collection I really am not trying to build it up anymore I'm just trying to keep using it up and repurchase what I like deem necessary after I use up a product. Not like an indefinite one out one in kind of a deal, but like that's the route I'm trying to go. That's my empties everybody, that's my like mishmash hodgepodge of empties right now. Hopefully I'll have more Bath & Body Works stuff next time that's not just candles and wallflowers because that seems to be like the biggest thing that I end up using up. I do have a fine fragrance mist that I'm trying to get through right now. Hopefully, hopefully, that'll be coming soon. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time.